What is going on everyone? Let's talk about Wyoming and why you might want to live there. As we all know, people are flooding out of states like New York, California, and Illinois. Illinois is only really losing people in Chicago for the most part. California is losing a bunch, but they're still gaining. New York is the only one that's losing population across the board, and it has been in recent years. In recent years, we've seen some go back to their country of origin, and the U.S. residents leaving those states are heading to popular states like Texas, Arizona, Idaho, Oregon, Washington, things like that. One state that's been moving up the list in recent years is Wyoming. Today's list is about 10 reasons why you might want to move to the Cowboy State. We did this like three years ago, and we felt that it needed a refresher. I mean, why not? There's far more than 10 reasons someone might want to move to this great state. Some reasons are still the same that were on the list three years ago, and other ones have become more relevant in recent years. And stop typing. I also did a top 10 reasons not to move to Wyoming. No state is perfect, and people are different. Some people like the same things that other people hate. Just the way it is. I'm just giving you things to think about and maybe research further if this is something you're thinking about doing. All right, let's see what we got. Number 10, low taxes. Wyoming is not big on taxing people. They're considered the fifth lowest tax state in the union. They don't have a state income tax, no estate or inheritance tax, low sales tax, low property tax. The average property tax here is 635 per every 100,000 the home is valued at. Yeah, they've got some really low taxes. Number nine, plenty of doctors to see. Wyoming has some of the best healthcare in the country. One of the main reasons for that is the amount of healthcare workers like doctors, nurses, etc. per capita. They don't have a ton of residents, so that one's kind of easy to pull off, but still, it's really nice. You don't have to wait months to see your doctor. You can get in to see your doctor in a day or two. The amount of physicians has been growing since 2014, and there are 10 more primary care physicians per 100,000 residents than the national average. Number eight. It's heaven for outdoor adventure types. If you didn't know Wyoming's great for the outdoor types, I encourage you to do some reading or watch a couple dozen YouTube videos. There's plenty on the great outdoors of Wyoming on YouTube. Wyoming has cross-country skiing, hiking, horseback riding, snowshoeing. You can go climbing. You can even build an igloo to hide from your wife of 27 years. I'd like to do that, but I think at some point she put a probe up my backside and she'd find me. Every type of landscape they have seems to be better than most states have. Mountains, plains, valleys with pristine rivers and streams that are filled with such crystal clear water. You could see what you're fishing for. That's always great. Every season is outdoor season in Wyoming. Not just the cross country skiing, normal skiing and snowboarding is great here. Number seven, it's cheap. When you don't have a lot of people, things tend to be a little cheaper. The cost of living in Wyoming is only 3% higher than the national average. That is outstanding for a very desirable state. If the cost of living is below the national average, it's normally because the state sucks. Arkansas and Mississippi have a cost of living that is well below the national average. Utilities are more affordable here than any other state. Now, healthcare, which we talked about earlier, is a little bit more expensive, and I think that has to do with just how sparsely populated the place is. But it is excellent quality, so that's a plus. Apartment rent ranges from $700 to $1,000, and a median home value is about $232,000. This is a great state to buy a home. Number six, they have job opportunities. In 2019, they had jobs. I'd like to give you 2020 numbers, but as we all know, the world sucked in 2020 and nothing is accurate, nothing was as expected, and nothing was normal other than the occasional ex-girlfriend emailing me that they hated me and I ruined their life. Wyoming has, had, have, well, let's hope they get back to normal and it's how it was. Every kind of job from forklift operator to medical transcriptionists are waiting for you to just show up, work, and cash bigger checks than you'll get in most other states. Not everyone works on a ranch in Wyoming. Trust me, they have other things to do there. The unemployment rate is always well below the national average. Even during the height of the pandemic, it was doing better than the rest of the country. Number five, the food. Most people not from Wyoming don't realize how good the food is here. I mean, it just doesn't jump out as a place that's going to have great food, like let's say New Orleans or New England and their seafood. You just don't think of Wyoming when you're thinking of a great place for food, but it is. Wild game grills, serious barbecue, and Mexican food throughout the state that is outstanding. There's this place called the Stagecoach in Wilson, Wyoming, which isn't too far west from Jackson. Outstanding street tacos. Oh my God, they're so good. And this place is really just like a roadhouse thing. It's not specifically a Mexican food place. It was great. 
And that's not the only tacos I had there. There was a whole bunch of other places that I don't remember the names. Great Mexican food. Jackson has all kinds of restaurants too. And that's where most people go when they're visiting. They're going to Jackson. Jackson whole area. You know what I mean? If you've never been to Jackson, it's not some Western town filled with updated saloons that try and bring in the tourists. They have those and they're nice. They actually kind of went heavy on saloons, breweries, and pubs, but they have decent places to eat. Nice Asian food places and some fine dining type places too that are outstanding. Number four, a low crime rate. People don't commit many crimes in the cowboy state. A lot of people feel that it's the fact that they have more firearms per capita than any other state. Some feel it's great law enforcement, while others feel that the state is just filled with decent people and they don't commit crimes. I did find a great stat while researching this. According to the Firearms Industry and Trade Report, now this is great. Most states have like five or ten firearms per resident, per capita, whatever. Some of the more firearm friendly states have like 20 to 30 maybe per resident or per capita. Like Arizona with 29 per, Idaho with 28, Texas with 20, Arkansas with 25 per capita. Wyoming, 229. They're the only state that has over 50 and they come in at 229. What is going on there? That's crazy. If you're a firearm enthusiast, head on up to Wyoming. It's calling you. The violent crime rate in Wyoming is 80% lower than the national average. And property crime, it sits around 45% lower than the national average. Everyone here is so friendly and they know each other. And I think that also plays a big part, you know? Number three, the best air quality in the United States. Yeah, Wyoming has the best air quality in the United States. Absolutely. A lot of it has to do with its low population, which means less polluting cars, heating and cooling, lighting for buildings, things like that all take up a bunch of energy, which burns fossil fuels and everything else like that. Well, they don't have that many people heating and lighting their house and driving around. There's also a lot of preserved lands in Wyoming that really limits the developing of the state. So there's not a lot of construction going on there. Number two, it's not that crowded. Now this one we talked about when we did this video a couple years ago and it's still the same. Wyoming is not a crowded place. The population here is under 600,000. They have 578,000 residents or thereabouts. Wyoming is the second sparsest populated state right behind Alaska. And if you know anything about Alaska, nobody lives there hardly. Wyoming is not that far behind them. In the last four years, there's been a 1% increase in their population each year. So, I mean, I doubt it's going to change anytime soon, but they are gaining some people. It's the popularity. It's a beautiful state, great people, things to do. People are moving in there. Now, here's another fact about it. Many of the local residents, so longtime Wyoming residents, are 65 and older. So, I mean, as they're gaining 1%, they might be losing more and more as time goes on. Who knows? It's weird. But I do think that with the new trend of people working from home and working remotely, places like Wyoming are going to see a little bit of an increase in population. The good news is you don't have neighbors right next door. So, you know, you could watch your uh, football game as loud as you want, play your music as loud as you want. No one's going to hear you. You probably unless of course you're living in one of the cities before we get to number one don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button also if you want to ring that little bell that lets you know when we're uploading again that really helps out the channel all right on to number one and number one health well-being and happiness. The research company Gallup ranks Wyoming as number two in health and well-being. They looked at things like career, natural landscape, sense of community, and social life. When all those things are considered, Wyoming was number two, only beat by Hawaii. In another study, the livability score for the state is 88, 89 being the best, which was shared by Hawaii and Vermont. So it was only beat by those two states. The people of Wyoming have a reputation for loving this state and they just are happy with being there. In other words, if you move to Wyoming, you have a really good chance of enjoying your life there. Talk to anyone from the Cowboy State and they will tell you what a great state it is. I have never met anyone that has just said it was a horrible place. I know one girl, okay, one girl did, but she was kind of weird and ran away from home and all that stuff and she hated it, but I think that was her situation. Anyone else just loves the state. You probably will too. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now, if you're looking to move to another state, Wyoming is a good choice. Do some extra research on it. See if it's what you're looking for and make the move. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Be nice to each other.